what is going on folks will turbot demand the truth fake mike real news we're in indianapolis guys gonna take a minute here to make sure you guys jump in this bee please share if you're already here only way i get the videos out nowadays because they uh, shadow ban me then they demonetize me and then they crapped on me in the algorithm so the only way i get my information out is you guys please share this video again this is will turbot for demand the truth i am here in indianapolis and this is the indiana world war memorial it is modeled after the mausoleum of Halicarnassus, as is the masonic temple the supreme mud lodge of the scottish right in washington dc and uh I'm actually going to pull back a little bit here too so you guys can get the full picture here. Sorry, I don't have my gimbal. Hopefully, I'll be getting that back. But uh, I'm going to take a wide angle here. All right, I'm going to have to back up a little bit more. I'm going to have to go across the street. So, bear with me, guys. Because I go across this whole country, right? And you've seen in Denver, you've seen in Kansas City, you've seen Washington, D.C., everywhere. We see the same symbol. So I'm going to identify some of them. You guys tell me what you think. So over here, first and foremost, like I said, this is modeled after the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. On the top, you see uh, an unfinished pyramid, just like you see on the back of the dollar bill, just like you see at the Scottish Rite Mother Lodge in D.C., uh, and it's very, very interesting that we have the unfinished pyramid. But wait, there's a lot more. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Cross street, I'm going to show you the other symbolism. And you guys let me know what you think, okay? Where the, where, where you got, I got some big videos coming out soon too. I've been shooting though. I haven't been going live because service sucks. But I want to know where you guys are coming to me at in a sec. But I want to show you this, right? So remember when I was talking about how outside of the Supreme Mother Lodge of Washington, D.C., there are two sphinxes. Also, in, in, uh, in um, Denver, you see the two lions, Kansas City. So over here, you can see it's flanked by two sphinx-like lions, and I believe that the lion was originally a sphinx itself, and it's got his, had his face chopped off. And so let's take a look at the symbolism. I've actually never been here before, and... Uh, Let's take a look and see what symbolism these guys have here. And I've, I've showed you the obelisk, I've showed you the symbols of fascism everywhere we go. So it'll be interesting to see. And then we've always got the eagles everywhere, uh, aka the phoenix, right? So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Rather interesting. Sorry guys, I don't have my gimbal, so you're gonna have to deal with this shit the best you can. And as you see right here, you got the lions on either side. We saw that in outside the Mother Lodge of Freemasonry. We saw it in Kansas City. We saw it in Denver as well. A lot of me people are running up and down the stairs. And as you see, we got. like this because it's not political this is a cult this is symbolism and I don't even particularly know <clears throat> what these perhaps mean but uh, it's there we see the same symbols everywhere we go oh what do we have here yep it's a giant obelisk just like in every other state and city a giant Egyptian obelisk with the gold capstone now that's a Masonic symbol that's a symbol of Egypt not in the United States, so why do we always have these obelisks everywhere? 
I don't know. And then again on this side, let's see, the Phoenix or the Eagle over there, top. Then the Egyptian occult Masonic obelisk we have there, Washington, or Washington has a his memorial there as well. We're gonna just go all the way through this little sucker and see what we got here. And uh, I'll take a look in the chat to see if anybody has anything they want to point out to me in a minute, but I think it's very interesting massive monument and then downtown Market Street another memorial uh, which I believe commemorates the Civil War and the Spanish American War. So we got this obelisk and then I don't even know what this building is here in the background. Usually when I go to a city or state I try to do as much research as possible but I've been flying by the seat of my pants as you guys are well aware on this little trip here. Oh look at that little place right there, a little garden. That's nice huh? A lot of windows. All right, sorry. I'm going to come down here. Sorry, guys. And then I'll get to a less windy spot. But I just want to show you guys. I mean, this whole country is... These aren't symbols. This is not American pie. You know what I'm saying? This ain't freaking cheeseburgers. These are these are symbols that you don't find everywhere. They're cult symbols. And why, why do we have that? What do they mean? I don't know. I, I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, why do we have obelisks everywhere? Why do we have symbols of fascism everywhere? Why are there torches everywhere? Uh, you know, why do we have the lions, the sphinx? Why do we have the, the pillars? The I'm not a mason, so I don't know if they're good or bad. I don't know what these symbols mean. I don't know the importance of all this stuff. And, you know, if mason's not necessarily going to tell you what the symbol means anyway. So let's go take a look at this here obelisk and see what's going on. But yeah, I got some really dope videos coming out very soon, so stay tuned to my channel. And I appreciate you guys that are sharing my videos on all the platforms, because as I said at the beginning of this video, the only way I reach people now is from you guys sharing the videos. I've been shadow banned, I've been demonetized, so my videos don't even come up in search results. So it's very much appreciated that you guys share these videos. Uh, especially my most important videos when I have like really good interviews, great guest or something important to say. I know I'm just an idiot ranting with a backwards hat and a fake mic, but there's a lot of important information and if there wasn't, they wouldn't be shadow banning me, right? They wouldn't be trying to hide me if, uh, if, I, was, if I was doing toy reviews, right? Unboxings. So, well, we have the woman here, perhaps a goddess. She's got her illuminated torch that you see, like in Kansas City, and also Lady Di and where, uh, they killed JFK, or JFK is arrested. So we got a beautiful Egyptian Masonic obelisk here. <laughs> Looks like we have some people maybe protesting over here. Interesting. So they're doing something. We're gonna go check that out. All right, you guys still with me? Sorry about that. I was getting some a call or something there. It's tough to see because it's bright outside here. Oh, looks like they got a camera crew over here too, some police. Let's see what's going on. Oh, and then look. Oh man, there's more symbolism here. Sorry guys, I got too excited when I saw. Maybe you guys can break that down. That's interesting. See you the other side and then we'll go take a look at what's going on over here. It looks like them praying in front of a Celtic cross there. And as you can see, unfinished pyramid right there behind me. I mean, this city is just full of occult symbolism. Interesting. Oh, what do we have over here? We have, oh, look. We have this pensive dude over here. I don't know what he's thinking about there. But then on the top left, you have an owl there. And we also have an owl at the middle of the Pentagon. We have an owl. Bohemian Grove and now has always been a symbol of illumination because they see things in the dark and at night that others cannot. So we also have a very small owl on the front of the dollar bill. Most people know about the uh, unfinished pyramid and all this other stuff, but we also have an owl on the dollar bill. So we, again, we see this occult symbolism. Again, I'm an idiot. Again, I don't know what it means, but I keep seeing it. I've traveled the country now and I see the same symbols and I just want to know why. see there's a lot of people over here can't quite make out what they're saying we got some we got a police officer and somebody on the camera there looks like there's boxes catering 
interesting, we'll see. What do you guys have going on over here? Awesome. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Who, who, who's paying for this? I don't know. I'm just going to Oh, that's great. That's great. It might be the PD's office. I'm not sure. Okay. Is there a website maybe I could check? Uh, I've talked to these gentlemen. They've done it a couple times. Who, who's putting this on? Uh, Jeff Riley's former prosecutor and uh, myself. Uh, we decided to uh, do something and um, had a couple of people that uh, wanted to donate and do that. So, oh, that's awesome. So they did that. And then the first time we did it, somebody came up and said, hey, this is awesome. What's it cost to do this? And just let them know. And they said, I'll do it next week. So they. And if people want to help you out, how can they get in touch? I, you know, we're not really kind of, we're not out looking for anything like that. It's, if you come up and say you want to do it, that's great. Right. You know, it kind of feels weird asking people to help. Well, I that. respect that. Keep up the good work, man. That's Thanks, a very man. beautiful you thing you're doing. Yeah, you do the same. That's beautiful. See, that's and that's the thing about human beings, man. When crisis time hits, uh, people looking out for each other, man. We gave all that money to the Bushes and the Clintons after Haiti. You know, Hurricane Harvey, we had the white people, the rednecks, the black people, the Asian people, Spanish people, all helping out. Doesn't make a difference in color. We weren't waiting for FEMA. We were out there doing stuff, and that was just incredibly beautiful. It's good to see that people uh, aren't just sitting home, and uh, and they're helping people out. I think it's, I think it's beautiful. <clears throat> where are you guys uh, Where are you guys coming at me from? Where do you guys want to see me do a video from next? Finally smashed my phone this morning, man. I saw it's tough to see, but I can see <laughs> a little bit. Finally smashed my forty-dollar phone, with my Metro PCS. So we're gonna come over to this area, take a look at this building, and then we'll start heading back. Um, I'll definitely be checking the comments. Uh, DC. Who knows? I might show up in DC very soon. I wish, I wish stuff was open. DC is one of my favorite places in the world. I love that place. Talk about a place festooned with the cult of symbolism, right? <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got over here. So we get some more eagles and stuff, phoenixes. Los Angeles, man. Should have told me that a couple weeks ago. Should have told me that last week. Just on that coast. And I'm in the mid coast. All right, where are you guys coming at me from? I can take a look at the chat a little bit now. And where should I do a video from right now? Everything's closed, so... Where do you guys think I should go and find something? Indy, you're in Indy right now. What up, Bam? What should I get to eat out here? I haven't eaten anything in Indy. What's Indy famous for? Just had some awesome Casey barbecue with the Universal crew. Mr. Universal, shout outs to him. Like, share, and subscribe to that page. Oh, and then so we have four pillars here. Look like phoenixes or eagles. Pittsburgh, okay, what's to do in Pittsburgh? Let's see what we got here. And then I'll go back to the chat on the way back. National headquarters of the American Legion. Oh, we have that right here. Interesting. Okay. Just kind of walked up upon that. It's the National headquarters. American Legion Veterans Defense. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, these might be eagles or phoenixes. There's different people have different interpretations on that. Uh, but very interesting. Tribute by Indiana to the hollowed memory of those who died in the World War. So it almost Indiana's entire downtown is dominated by uh, war memorials. It's very interesting. All right, and then finally we're going to get to this building, which I have no idea what it is. Holy smokes! Do you guys see that that black thing right there, dude? See on that lot to the left over here, that's like a creepy black statue of like some extremely skinny, small alien looking thing. Let's go take a look at that. And then I'll, as I'm walking back, I'll go to the chat here. Uh, it's a public library, okay. Indianapolis Public Library. Beautiful day here in Indy. Never been to the city. It's absolutely gorgeous day.
So it looks like they're putting some art over here. See this, see this dude right here? This, I gotta find out what that, I hope there's a description on that, cause that's creepy. That looks like something I have a nightmare about right there. And then we have like this donut shaped thing. So let's go check that out. And let's be culty and rich by uh, this beautiful art. And then we'll take a head back. And uh, I'd be interested to see what you guys think I should do next. Um, or if you can break down some of this occult symbolism. I'd be very happy to have that occur. All right, so we got a big donut right here, which is awesome. All right, Thin Man, Little Bird. Thin Man, okay. Perhaps the most striking characteristic of Thin Man, Little Bird is how it defies the limits of both its pedestals. With the library's massive rectangular authority as a backdrop, Thin Man extends eight feet above the parapet Striving towards the sky on wavering limbs, halo-like halo -like little bird floats, seemingly on anchor, barely kissing the library's limestone skin. Both the parts of sculpture embody the spirit of the library. Artist Peter Shelton wrote, I think of the library as a kind of field, a universe, and vast and expression of our humanity. Into the library, a thin man in us grows like a tree towards the sky. What the hell is a thin man, a little bird? Uh, okay, I don't know what a thin man, little bird is. It's just, I don't know. That sounds like a horror movie to me. Uh, see, you got Virgo right there, and then look, Leo the lion, like I said. Leo's a symbol of lion. We started off this video with Leo's lions, and I believe that the Sphinx was originally a lion, and that's why the face is a lot smaller than the rest of the body. Oh, yep, so then we have Cancer, Gemini, we have all the zodiac parts right here, which is very interesting. DC has 22 encode, encoded uh, zodiacs in it. So yeah, Thin Man, that's pretty freaking creepy. Um, that's just really creepy, dog. I just, just don't like that. It's just kind of sketching me out there, but we're gonna head back. I'm gonna give you this, this view right here, which is a beautiful view, but uh, take a look at it. We got the, the symbolism everywhere. We got the Zodiacs, we got the Obelisk, we got the Leos, we got the Sphinxes, we've got unfinished pyramids we got the owls i made in check 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 which occult symbols did we not see really i have yet to see the symbol of fasci yet though but we're not near the state house so <laughs> i mean even that sales force right there building it's an unfinished pyramid and it's got the two pillars of joaquin and boaz if you wanted to see it that way so now i'm going to start getting to the shade and then i want to see where you guys think i should go next i want to see if you guys have any ideas on occult symbolism and uh so let's chat with you guys here all right now i can look where were you guys coming at me from where should i go next what do you guys think about these damn occult symbols Yeah, if you guys haven't seen my videos where I go inside the Masonic Temple and audit there, or my recent ones in Denver, I call it Fascists in Denver, or my one in Kansas the City with the Universal Crew, Mr. Universal, please do because they're good backdrops to all of this. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these symbols are free, free Masonic symbols. Um, what the hell? We got one more thing we got to check out. It looks like this is a Scottish. I'm not. I'm just gonna double check before I, I jump to conclusions here. Look at this building right here, right? Scottish Rite Memorial. This is another Free Masonic building, right? You're asking about Freemasons. Here we go. Yeah, Scottish Rite. No, Cathedral, not Memorial. Cathedral. Ha! Huh, look at this. Every fucking city is is Masonic. They're like, this is crazy, right? Masons make up everything, but they, they think that they should keep all the knowledge for themselves and you have to pay money to I think everybody Should be able to have information information should be free. I don't think that a small group of dominant men Who still segregate themselves From the black masons. I don't think they should have all the power call me crazy um, I don't think they should have secrets if you want to start a club go ahead do that, but This has been an interesting video guys. I, I had no idea it was gonna go on this one so here you have the Scottish Rite Cathedral. You see the square and the compass and the double-headed eagle right there. Eh? Eh? So we're. Oh my gosh! This, and then directly ahead of me, in in the background, is the uh, 
other memorial. Look at this. Glory of the Grand Architect of the Universe. I've never seen a cathedral to masonry. I've seen temples. I've been inside a number of them. But I mean, talk about occult symbolism right here, guys. This is a cathedral to Scottish Rite Freemasonry. But to be a mason, according to them, you have to believe in a higher power to ask you to, for a particular religion. They claim it's not a religion. So why do you have a cathedral? Oh, look over here, boys and girls. Take a look here. We've got the pyramid with the sun uh, burst behind it. Very interesting. Then we have the double-headed eagle right in the middle. I wonder who these guys are on either side. Let's take a look-see. Who is this guy, guys? Who are these people right here? But right, take a look, guys. Got the all-seeing eye of the pyramid, Scottish right. Keep in mind, Masons have been almost every, almost every president, major president has been a Mason that we know of, Democrat, Republican. Uh, we also have the first flag on the moon with a Scottish right flag, if you believe in the moon landing, not the United States flag, popular to contrary belief. We have news over here too. Probably walk by again and see what eight thinks about covering up for Jeffrey Epstein lying about people, but wow. This has been a pretty crazy video, guys. Um, a lot of occult symbolism out here in, in Indy. What do you guys, anybody out here from Indy, what do you guys think about 8 News? A bunch of corporate sellouts with too much makeup, or do they do a good job? Appreciate you guys bearing with the uh, camera quality. I'll have my gimbal back soon. Till then, you guys are just gonna have to deal with this. And that looks like a Masonic temple over there too. So yep, we're leaving the Scottish Rite Cathedral. This is a look at the whole plaza. I mean, that's the obelisk right there. Very interesting. I'm in India. I was in Denver the other day. So if you get the first responders, everyone's clapping for the first responders, give them free food. But nobody gives the uh, black people who are getting shot at a higher rate than Jim Crow South free food. <laughs> Too bad. Um, so I'm going to probably wrap this video up. Actually, I'm just going to go to the shade for a second and we'll go through the comments because I haven't really had a chance to look at it. But let's see what you guys are saying here. And um, maybe you have some ideas on where I can do my next video. All right, so I'm going to pop up in the shade real quick. What's going on, guys? M MK Ultra, what up? Hello, Angie. Where are you guys coming at me from? Where should I do a video next? You guys know where I'm at now. I'm going to be doing some traveling. I'm not going to let everybody know, but where do you guys think I should do a video at next? All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because you um, obviously hate me. Don't want to talk. No, just kidding. But, yeah, um, you guys know all the Georgia Guidestones. Ooh, damn, I, I missed those. Yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll be in D.C. Maybe I'll be in Pennsylvania, Virginia. Who knows? Uh, if you guys want to get in touch with me, williamturbot at gmail.com. If anybody wants to put that in the chat, W-I-L-L-I-A-M. Um... T -U -R -B -I -T -T at gmail.com Facebook Will Turbit T-U-R-B-I-T-T -T. Twitter at Will underscore T-U-R-B-I-T-T -T. Demand the Truth on Instagram Demand the Truth on Patreon uh, Yeah So get at me guys 
uh, please give me a like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as we've seen, just to wrap things up, we've got an unfinished pyramid. We've got the owl. We've got the symbolism, the mausoleum of Halicarnassus, which is representing the Scottish Rite. We have the obelisk. We have the sun symbolism. We have everything here. And just to show you guys, I've been going across the whole country and you see the same damn symbols. And these are not American symbols. These are cult Egyptian Freemasonic symbols. So I love you guys. I'm going to wrap this motherfucker up. But please share the videos. And uh, I'd be very interested in the comments to see what you guys think of this occult symbolism. So I'm peacing out, guys. It's been Will Turbot. Fake Mike. Real news.